Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and the first version of Optifine for Minecraft 1.14 has been released. All right, and I'm going to show you how to install it in Multi-MC. So we want to go to Optifine.net and go to the download section. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description and then uh, select the preview versions here and you'll see the 114 version at the top it may differ uh, depending upon when you watch this video what version we're using and i'll make notes of that but i'm going to show you how to install it in multi mc so you're going to want to download it from here right click uh, choose incognito window because it will show you some ads uh, and you'll uh, want to not have tracking cookies or whatever so download that to your disk and only get it from optifine.net as mentioned Okay, so when it comes down to your disk, it will be named as such, uh, whatever the file that you downloaded is. And you're going to want to allow that through your Windows Defender or Gatekeeper, or whatever. I'll show you how to do things on Mac, but it makes no difference if you're using Windows, Mac, Linux, or whatever. Just translate between what you need to do on your operating system, all right? And so an installer window will open up here for uh, the installer, and we're going to want to extract the file. So choose the extract button, and then a location you want to extract it to, probably the same folder uh, I'm using downloads, all right? And then there'll be a file name. Uh, similar to this, uh, that'll be the extracted jar. Okay, I have a jar extension, and this one has a uh, underscore mod at the end of that. I don't know if they'll continue doing that. I'm going to remove that underscore mod just to clean up the file name a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to select that file and I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. So, you know, do whatever you need to do, but copy it to your clipboard. Okay, the file. All right, now we're going to go into multi MC and in a, a your installer window or whatever. Uh, create a new instance you can right click or hit the add instance button there we're going to use 114 okay not 114.1 not any of the 114.2 uh, pre-releases we're going to use 114 all right so this creates a new instance icon in your window you can right click on that and you can choose edit instance and the version tab will work in there but first we're going to want to put our uh, optifine in the folder so right click on that and choose instance folder from the menu a new folder will open up that's the root of your instance in multi mc so inside of that paste your item okay so paste the optifine there uh, you really want to create a new folder called libraries and put that optifine inside of there so you could you know just create the folder first whatever so it goes inside of the folder named libraries as such now select that uh, version as if you were going to rename it and we're going to copy the text of the name so right click it to where you see and then choose copy now we're copying the text short of the jar at the end of it all right so back in our edit instance window here down at this bottom section here there is a button called add empty click that and choose optifine as the name or type in optifine as the name then underscore optifine i can type optifine fine and uh, capital optifine okay so underscore dot capital optifine all right and then so a new line will appear in the window there and go ahead and select that right and then choose this edit button along the side here and it will open up in the text editor that you have assigned for json files if that doesn't open up then you can assign a editor inside of multi mc using the settings uh main settings area external tools text editor here for external editors click the button there and choose one in your system whether that be text edit or uh, notepad plus plus or something like that and you'll be able to assign that but you can also use the default programs in your operating system which is recommended all right but basically in that window here we're going to want to select the text and go ahead and clear it out and then we're going to want to go to a location here in chrome where i will leave you a link to uh, the text that we're going to enter so it, it will look similar to this and you can go ahead and choose the raw button along the side here to open only that window and then select the text inside of it and copy it okay uh, and again your versions and stuff may look a little different than mine but we'll go into text wrangler here is what I'm using or your text editor and we'll paste that. Okay, so we are in the optifine.optifine.json is what that file will be called. And it has all the settings that are pre-made for this. Now, if you have a different version of Optifine, you're going to want to edit these areas here to uh, reflect that. Now, keep in mind that under the name, there is a prefixing system here. Okay, that's the reason we eliminated the underscore mod at the end to where it is has to be optifine 
colon. Then the Optifine name, you've removed this, this area, this underscore here, and replaced it with a colon. Very important, people miss that. Uh, to where you just have the version string. So Optifine, colon, uh, large caps, caps Optifine, then the name, okay? And then that version string is what goes here at the bottom for the version string too. That's a way of separating the Optifine label from the version string, okay? So once you've done all that, just press save. Uh, I've already done it for the most current version and we're good to go. So uh, back in MultiMC, you will see this is reflected inside of there and we should be able to do a launch now. And you will see if there are errors immediately upon launch. Uh, in, in worst case, you'll get red text with the black outline that's, that's letting you know there's trouble. Otherwise, you may just get some errors or crash on launch if you have problems, okay? Uh, but it should be okay, all okay if you followed the instructions correctly uh, or, you know, done the proper things in adjusting yours. So again, I'll leave a link in the description here for the settings for the first version and then I'll do uh, updates, you know, as needed to uh, get into major versions. All right, so once your Minecraft launch, you can see it launches okay. We'll go under options video settings and then we'll see our optifine version here at the bottom of the screen let me turn off the sound first okay and uh, again under video settings you'll see it at the bottom of the window there go ahead and go full screen and you'll see the version screen that lets you know that optifine is installed now in this pre-release not all version not all features of optifine are enabled uh, but it certainly does work quite well. Uh, so uh, once you've done the launch, you'll see that your, your things are located here. Just to let you know, if you have some errors, when you select this, you'll see these errors at the bottom of the window here. Uh, it could tell you some problems that you might have. Uh, you can make some changes and you can reload. Here, there's a reload button and see how that goes. But guys, if you follow these steps, it all should work properly. And I have tested it and you can see that it works. So anyway, that's how we installed the first versions of Optifine in MultiMC. And I'm excited that it has come out and we can continue to move forward with the great new version of Minecraft that 114 is. Anyway, this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.